Hey guys, so there might be a scene that you're not able to access your phone because you have broken your screen or your screen just got ripped off of your phone uh, like mine did. I'll show you like this. But you have access to your actually your stories that is you can access your phone. If you press your home button, you get the backlit keys on. So what you're going to do now is first thing is you will try to plug in your device via USB. Uh, but you can't get access to internal storage because uh, th because that's the place where your photos get stored or images or any of your music collections now since there's no access to our internal storage we will make one uh, first thing that you need to do for this is you need to enter your passcode and or enter your pin code or panel lock so for to doing that for doing that you need to go to command prompt administrator you need to type a b a d b devices you need to see if your device is connected or not um like this mine is connected so cool so now there, there will be two steps that we are going to do first step would be typing the code typing the command adb shell input text your password if your password is pin code it's, 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 uh, if it is a pin code like one two three four or five six seven eight like mine is five four six four I'll type adb shell input text 5464 now after I've typed this command adb shell input text 5464 I'll press my home button of the phone which is really this this is the second step that you need to do you need to press your home button re uh, repeatedly and in or interval of three seconds or three to four seconds if because the backlight uh, because the light of the phone goes off my phone got disconnected okay uh, so you have to press your home uh, home button of your phone repeatedly in three to four seconds uh, keeping your phone connected with your PC so I'll do this again let my phone just get connected again yes so I'll try I'll press my home button and I'll keep on pressing it repeatedly in three to four seconds and I'll enter for the command adv shell input text five four six four okay so now what happened is my password got input in my phone screen even if I'm not able to see it but still uh, my phone got input my password got input in my phone screen now the second thing that I would need to press is OK after pressing the after entering your pin there is a setting if uh, you have to press OK so for pressing OK you need to type input key event 66 all right my phone got again okay and before typing this let's just press enter okay nothing happened because my screen went off I need to press my home button again I need to type in the password all right I need to keep on pressing my home button now I need to press key event 66 which actually means uh, key for okay mm, yes so here my phone got unlocked now let's go and check if my phone has really got unlocked or not we'll go and see we're able to access our phone and sd card so basically you can go and get your files or your images or your music collection music collections from your phone and format it if you want because if you're going if you're giving it for repair repairing then you need to format of course so th this is the first step that you're going to do now the second step if you have a pattern lock so if you have a pattern lock you need to follow this design adb shell input uh -huh, swipe now after this enter these four things hundred all right I might be confusing you oh, hundred five hundred hundred even I don't remember this 100 500 100 1400 and then again 100 five values input adb shell input swipe right adb yeah ad sorry adb shell input swipe 100 500 100 1400 and 100 press enter and since my device is a little bit old if you have your new devices as a touch screen they would work like in my another phone it worked uh, adb shell input I typed ADB shell input swipe 100 500 100 okay this thing 
so this actually makes your device swipe so what do you need to do if you have a pattern lock is you need to swipe in a wrong patterns repeatedly uh, I am not sure because I have not tested my swipe thing because I have my um, I have mine password as a pin code so I can't give you assurance for a swipe key uh, but I have one thing which you can use is if you get to a screen of forgot password you can do the same thing again so for one thing I need to tell you which I can't demonstrate because I didn't have a pattern lock uh, for for giving a wrong inputs or wrong patterns you need to type this command adb shell input tap 500-1450 now this is a particular x and y location you can change these x which is 500 and y which is 1450 you can change these locations and give your wrong patterns that is this will touch only one button of uh, one button or you can say one spot of that whole 3 cross 3 or 4 cross 3 pattern so uh, this will give you five wrong attempts of pattern now after that you will get the screen for forgot password now you need to tap on this too and for tapping on this you need to follow the same thing adb shell adb shell input tap now this x and y location i can't give you x and y location you need to figure out by hit and trial methods and you will get to a point when you, where you can click the forgot password after that i can show you what you need to do uh, basically it's a really easy step you need to just type in hello like i put an adb shell input text hello and then you need to press 66 to give a new event and then again type hello and then you need to press again for adb shell input key event 66 to go to sign in option and then again you have to enter adb shell input 66 to actually press it to press it as enter uh, let me show you again properly first thing is you need to type hello this will type hello and then 66 to go to the next line that is password then again hello to type in the password then again the 66 to go to sign in and then again the 66 to click the sign in now since it was an invalid invalid username and password it gave me an invalid username and password now for the pin keywords for sorry for the pin one pin lock password you need to just do simple steps first thing is you need to type adb shell input text 5646 which inputs the password and then you need to then simply press adb shell input key event 66 which actually pr means enter and then your phone will be opened so this these this is the really easy method through which you can access your phone i hope you help i hope i helped you guys thank you